The black ribbon on the light post is the first thing you see as you pull into John Brule's home. He tied it there himself when he got the news of his 18-year-old daughter Sarah's death. With somebody that was, has let a little beauty into this world is, is gone because of somebody that rides up and down the road with a gun in their hand. And we need to get him off the road. That was my daughter that they, that they killed. She had both hands on the steering wheel, I'm sure. When they pulled her out of the car, they, they said she had been holding they had the prior hands off the steering wheel. Sarah died in this accident Sunday night on Interstate 64. She crashed into a ditch in New Kent County after state police say another motorist who'd been harassing her since the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel fired shots into her car. That's totally uncalled for. Whoever it was, this person does not belong on our roads. Sarah Brule dreamed of becoming a florist. She was set to start college in the fall studying horticulture. Her father says he just can't believe none of that will ever happen for his little girl. Some people never find their true talent. She did, and, and uh, it was just beginning to develop and, and being recognized, and uh, uh, now she's gone. Brule knows catching the person who did this to his daughter won't bring her back, but he hopes it will at least keep it from happening to someone else's loved one. Whoever it is, you know, he's left a big enough footprint. Somebody's going to catch him. Sandra Parker, 13 News, Mechanicsville.